Hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy Monster Man Rocco. It's your boy Swagger Rock. This is Snack Ripper. And you have to go to Don't Know. Master Ace. You are not rocking with the best. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio. Let's go. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't know. Fuck strange music, man. <laughs> <laughs> And that's one thing I wanted to ask you about too. Like, um, to, to uh, one thing I caught in the documentary, and I, you guys didn't elaborate on it very long. So, um, with the articles and stuff, I think I picked up the gist of what happened. But I wanted to ask you directly about it. But um, with the hip hop influence and everything, uh, you spoke very quickly about like big and uh, party and bullshit. But did, was there actually a lawsuit that followed that? Because you guys weren't imp- weren't happy with the way he used the terminology of it. <laughs> Yeah, well, Dune, Dune. Matter of fact, I'm the one who let Dune know that because we was at this thing. Well, that was back. Well, that's a couple of years. There was a hip hop party, and Dune uh, hadn't known that Biggie had used the uh, term party and bullshit. So I said, Dune, come in. So when I got to doing that, he said, What you want? I said, You gotta listen to stuff. So we was up on that balcony and listen to Biggie do his thing. He said, What? What did he do? I said, You didn't know that, man. He said, No, I don't. I said, Well, yeah, but they've been using party. And big probably and bullshit and probably bullshit. So now I'm doing this, he's, I think maybe about 10 years or five years ago, he's instructed the lawyer to go for this, but he hasn't gotten that settled yet. So I don't know how that's going to come out. But we never, because my daughter went to school with Biggie. My oh, daughter really? Was on the same block, same block in Brooklyn, and she went to school with Biggie. I met Biggie, and we talked on the street, you know, cause, like I said, man, we never hold hell no grudges against them young boys. And then we, why would that, why would we do? They came from the same culture, some of them from the same neighborhoods, and they had the same ideas of trying to use the rules like us. So we never really were, you know, hateful. Not unless I'm like I said, they used some of the positive and give it then that's uh much of that we had to straighten the go. We would try to straighten things out like that. But other than that, no nah, man. They were part of our culture, they were part of our hood too. Yeah. 